Here's a look at weather conditions at 8 p.m. The report from Ellsworth was not available. Salina reported snow flurries. The temperature was 29 and the relative humidity was 82%. Wind for west at 21 gusting to 26 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.84 and falling. Great Bend reported light snow and fog. The temperature was 27 and the relative humidity was 93%. Winds for west at 24 gusting to 31 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of 12, the pressure was 29.89 and falling. McPherson reported snow flurries, the temperature was 28 and the relative humidity was 87%. Winds for west at 20 miles an hour, the pressure was 29.87 and steady. Russell had light snow, the temperature was 27 and the relative humidity was 81%. Wind for west at 24 gusting to 33 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of 12, the pressure was 29.85 and steady. Hayes had mixed precipitation, the temperature was 26 and the relative humidity was 84%. Wind for west at 23 gusting to 30 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of 11, the pressure was 29.89 and steady. Elsewhere around the area, Hutchinson was 28 with light snow, winds for west with gusts to 26. Wichita was 30 with snow flurries. Concordia was 27 with light snow. Emporia was 31 and cloudy, winds for southwest with gusts to 23. Topeka was 32 and cloudy, winds for southwest with gusts to 20. Kansas City was 31 and cloudy, winds were southwest with gusts to 22. Pratt was 29 and cloudy, the wind chill was 15, winds were northwest with gusts to 33. Ponca City was 35 and cloudy, winds were west with gusts to 17. Goodland was 21 with light snow and fog, the wind chill was 9, winds were northwest with gusts to 23. Denver was 24 and mostly cloudy. Once again at 8 p.m., Great Bend was 27 with light snow and the fog. Here is some climate information from around the region. At the Hayes Airport, the high was 29 with a low of 25. At the Russell Airport, the high was 30 with a low of 27. At the Great Bend Airport, the high was 31 with a low of 27. Here are the precipitation reports from across the region. The Great Bend Airport measured a trace. The Hayes Airport had a trace. And for the greatest amount, the Russell Airport measured a trace. The current time is 8.27 p.m. Central Standard Time. The following is a summary of watches, warnings, and advisories in effect. For additional weather information, please go to www.weather.gov. A winter weather advisory remains in effect until midnight Wednesday for the following county, Rush, Kansas. A winter weather advisory remains in effect until midnight Wednesday and now includes the following county, Rice, Kansas. A winter weather advisory remains in effect until midnight Wednesday for the following counties, Barton, Ellsworth and Russell. It was a cold and blustery Christmas day across central and eastern Kansas. Light snow and flurries were most prevalent this afternoon across central Kansas. Northwest winds gusted over 30 miles per hour at times with late afternoon temperatures ranging from the upper 20s to mid 30s. Deep low pressure will continue to spin over mid-America with winter storm and blizzard conditions continuing to affect much of Nebraska and northwest Kansas tonight through Tuesday. Heavy snow and strong winds will make travel difficult, if not impossible, in these areas with additional snow accumulations of 6 inches or more expected. Light snow and flurries will remain possible further south and east across Iowa, the rest of Kansas and northern Missouri. Low temperatures tonight will fall into the teens and 20s. High temperatures on Tuesday will generally climb into the 30s, except for milder 40s in Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, southern Missouri, and far southeast Kansas. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of central Kansas, south central Kansas, and southeast Kansas. For tonight, areas of flurries, light snow, and blowing snow will impact portions of central and east central Kansas this evening and overnight. 
Additional overnight accumulations up to around one half inch or one inch are possible. Slick road conditions and reduced visibilities are expected. Refer to the Winter Weather Advisory for more details. For Tuesday through Sunday areas of flurries, light snow, and blowing snow will continue across mainly central and eastern Kansas through Tuesday evening. Additional accumulations up to around one inch are possible. Slick road conditions and reduced visibilities are expected. Refer to the Winter Weather Advisory for more details. Spotter activation is not anticipated tonight. Here is your National Weather Service forecast. Winter weather advisory in effect until midnight Central Standard Time Tuesday night. Tonight, snow likely. Snow accumulation around an inch. Brisk, cold. Near steady temperature in the mid-twenties. West winds 20 to 25 miles an hour, with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Chance of snow 70%. Tuesday cloudy with a 50% chance of snow. Total snow accumulation around an inch possible. Highs in the mid-30s. West winds 15 to 20 miles an hour, with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Tuesday night mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow. Cold with lows in the lower 20s. Northwest winds 15 to 20 miles an hour, with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Wednesday partly sunny with highs in the upper 30s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Wednesday night mostly cloudy. Cold with lows in the mid 20s. North winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Thursday partly sunny with highs in the upper 30s. Thursday night through Saturday night mostly clear with lows in the lower 20s. Highs in the upper 40s. Sunday through New Year's Day mostly clear with highs in the mid-40s. Lows in the lower 20s. Once again the forecast for tonight. Snow likely. Snow accumulation around an inch. Brisk, cold. Near steady temperature in the mid-20s. West winds 20 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Chance of snow 70%. Here's a look at weather conditions at 8 p.m. The report from Ellsworth was not available.